Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, five ways to use your camera for instruction. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin and this is iPads in the Classroom from TechEd and today I want to talk about a few ways you can really use the camera in the iPad for instruction. And the first thing that I want to say is that despite all the changes and all the differences between the different generations of iPads, the biggest move was, for me at least, from iPad 1 to iPad 2 when they added the camera. Ever since then, small changes really, really helped, but the big difference was the addition of a camera and I want to talk about a few ways that using the cameras really changed the way I teach from simple things to complicated things. So let's start. The first thing that I do with my camera in instruction is when my class starts, the first thing I do is I have each one of my students just write their name on a big card and then take photographs of everybody. And it looks something like this. This is my classroom and each one of the students has a, a photo then then I can use in multiple apps any app that wants to use uh, photos of students whether it's teacher kit or um, anything else that uses them and has the option of photograph I have the photograph I can use it immediately it's got their names so in the first few weeks of instruction when I want to learn all of my students name I can do that I can practice on my iPad and make sure I know everybody and I can recognize them by name it makes for a really easy way to do that as well so that's one way to use the iPad and again it will transfer to any of the apps that use student faces with a grade book or anything like that. A great use uh, right there. The second thing that I do is I actually take shots during instruction whether it is about work of students working together, working in groups, producing products. So I have a lot of those that happen in real time and if we scroll through uh, my work you can see um, for example students working with uh, so we have a reading center on campus and this is a student a K-12 students working with the university tutor while in this case even working on the iPad so you can take uh, shots of students in action working with K-12 students. In this case, I took care not to have the face of the student there. And I have a collection of those. And this is a way to illustrate what's going on and to actually use when you're giving feedback to students. So again, action shots while students are working in your classroom. And that's a way to use photograph. Another way that you can use the camera that seems to be a highly uh, effective is to use the camera to actually capture instruction as I use the whiteboard quite often and on that whiteboard I have important notes if not all of my students are there or if there's anything that we want to retain for note taking what I do is I just take my camera at the end of instruction and I take a picture of what we had on the board and then share it with my class through our learning management system. So we take a picture of something we've created together and then we share it with everybody. The minute it's a picture, I've got it. I don't mind if anybody's erasing it and it's gone um, from our classroom. Um, the last thing that I want to talk about by just using the camera straight is of course capturing student products. So if uh, just a few weeks ago we've had students sit in class and design what would be their ultimate classroom and what would they put in it and instead of just keeping all the paper what I've done is I've taken my camera and I've preserved all of their products so you can see these are their designs of what their classroom would look like this uh, this is work they've done in groups there's an explanation that goes with it but this is a quick way to capture the information and now I have evidence of learning right there I can add a uh, audio to it with an explanation or text with it to an with an explanation but again 
just the idea of having this preserved is very easy to do with the camera. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about, and this is a great way to use your camera in the classroom, and you can use just a straight camera or you can use an app, and I'm going to show you first a camera and then the app, and that is to use the, cam the iPad as a projection device. So we all have document cameras, or most classrooms now have document cameras, and I'm seeing more and more places shifting to using the iPad as a document camera because then different students can use it and it has a few more functions than uh, just using a regular document camera. Uh, first of all, you don't need a computer and now with a connection, either a hardwire connection or a connection through a, an Apple TV, you can do this wirelessly as well. You just open your camera and if there's a document under it, you will immediately be able to project it. So if you connect it through a wire, through, uh, through the end of your iPad, or especially through uh, Apple TVs, you can just project it immediately. And of course, very easily, just like we always do, we can zoom in and out so you can make that specific object or text, in this case, um, it's just text on a piece of paper. You can do that. You can work on that paper and it'll come up. And a few advantages here are that you can take a picture, so you can actually use this just to project, or you can use it and then when you've gotten to a point where you want to preserve whatever was done on that piece of paper, you just take a picture. You can do the same thing with a video, so you can actually take a picture if you're calling a student to do some work and you want to capture the work, you can easily do it on the regular video. Now, on top of that, with a simple app, for example, Stage by Belkin is a great little app. It does the same thing we just showed, but it has a few more features that make it actually better than any document camera we usually use. And that is the ability to annotate on top. So I've got the same kind of document right under, right? And I can still go in and out. But now, instead of writing on the paper, I can actually use the iPad to draw, so I've got here different colors and I can use the black and then I've got different kinds of pencil and I want something a little bit thinner and then I can underline or I can do some work in math, right? Or anything else and it becomes part of the page, what's under it, right? What's under it and if I want to preserve it, I can just take a picture and now it will merge both of them together to one picture. So the overlay that was done right on the iPad and the page that is behind it become one as one document. And you can see that you can actually use multiple features here. You can add text and bring up pictures and all of that. But the bottom line is the camera or a simple app like that turns your iPad into an excellent instructional device. So today, we talked about five ways you can use your camera on the iPad to improve your instruction, and I'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.